Allah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habati fi Allah Allah tabarak wa ta'ala created us for a divine purpose and we all have to know that because that's what distinguishes the mu'min and the believer from the disbeliever is that they know and they know they have an objective the Muslim should never ever despair to this extent that they, they kill themselves or they lose themselves totally in this dunya because they have to know that they have a purpose in this life. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَى لِيَعْبُدُونَ I've not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. So we know that the purpose and the reason that we're created is to worship Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. That it's not to follow our whims and our desires. It's not to just strive to pile up in this dunya. It's not to... Uh, to feel the hopelessness, because we do have a purpose. And once we become hopeless, the Ahlul Sunnah, Ahli Iman, Ahlul Islam, they know once they can go back to that objective, which is that they were created to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, that puts it all back in perspective. That'll help you find yourself. That'll help you not to despair. That'll help you to deal with depression. That'll help you to deal with confusion. That'll help you deal with fitna is that you have to remember that your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, worshiping Him, tabarak wa ta'ala, is the objective. And that He subhanahu wa ta'ala, all, la hawla wa la quwata illa billah. There is no might, nor power, with, except with Allah azza wa jal. That your salvation is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But that comes with worshiping Him, tabarak wa ta'ala. It doesn't come with disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you won't find it by putting your tawakkul and your tawassal in the dead or in other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you'll find your refuge, you'll find your salvation with Allah azza wa jal. That is the purpose of Habit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا And worship Allah, uh, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala commands us in the Quran, He says, وَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ Worship Allah, and this is in the imperative form, this is a command from Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. وَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا And do not associate any partners with Him, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of the Salihin, to be of those who call to the book in the Sunnah and practice the book in the Sunnah.